What is GitHopper? It is a Grasshopper plugin that allows you to easily work with Git and GitHub in a relatively safe manner. It basically helps you track changes in your files and it simplifies working on projects with multiple people. And you should start using it for six reasons. First, GitHub provides free cloud storage for your project. Second, version control allows you to roll back changes to your files without the need for multiple save files. Third, it allows multiple people to work on the same file at the same time. Fourth, it allows you to contribute to large projects and benefit from other contributors in your projects. Fifth, it provides a great way to show off your project and essentially build up a portfolio. Six, large companies use it all the time, including Netflix, Amazon, Facebook, and Microsoft. You might think, how do I learn it? You can learn GitHopper in less than an hour. The complete video tutorial will be available at my YouTube channel and the link for it is available on the Food for Rhino website. After working with GitHopper for a while, if you felt the need for more complex Git commands, you can easily search for them on Google and use the commands you find in the GitHub. So, how does it work? It is important to know some basic concepts before working with GitHopper. Here is a simplified definition for all of them. The repository. It is in simple terms just a project folder that may contain all types of files or folders. It could be image files, PDF files, text files, even grasshopper or 3D model files. The local repository. It is the version of your repository that exists on your device. On the other hand, the remote repository is the version of your repository that exists on a remote server. For our purposes, this remote server is usually the GitHub website. Cloning. It is the act of copying a remote repository to your local device. Pushing is the act of sending your changes to the remote repository. Pulling on the other hand is what you do when you want to receive the latest updates from your remote repository. A commit is like a snapshot of your project. It behaves like a checkpoint in a video game. It could be used to roll back mistakes or even to see the progress you've made throughout your project. To understand the concept of branches and merging, it is best to think of them in the context of video games. Imagine five people trying to play a video game on a single device. They want to benefit from each other's progress and on the other hand, they fear that by making a wrong decision, they could ruin each other's work. So they decide to use a master save file for save checkpoints, and another save file for risky routes. If the risky route resulted in the desired outcome, they would overwrite the master save file. Git branches are like timelines of committed changes. Much like the example, the master branch is used as the main timeline of the project and the other branches are created to work on new features and to experiment. After a feature is completed and the desired result is achieved, we would merge that branch into our master branch. It is important to note that branches could be created, deleted, or merged for many purposes based on the team's work 